Hello and welcome to Bay College's video lectures for Math 085. This is section 1.7. We're going to introduce polynomials. And the term is polynomials, which just means many numbers. Um, before we begin that, we have to look at uh, some definitions. And the first thing we're going to define is term. A term is a number or the product of a number and a variable. So if, or several variables. So if we look, here's an example of some terms. We have 5. That's just a number. It's a term. We have 4x. And if we recall variables, 4 times x, that's all this really says. So this is a term by itself. Here we have 2 times x times y. The term is 2xy. And then we have this right here. We have just an x. Well, that x by itself, its coefficient is actually 1, that number in front of it. We assume we have 1. So it is a term. So then we have to define numerical coefficients. And I may have gotten a little ahead of myself. I mentioned one already. The numerical coefficient is just the number that we actually see in front of the term or know that is there. As an example, the numerical coefficient for this particular term is 5. The numerical coefficient for this term is the 4. So we're just actually looking at the actual number. This term here, the numerical coefficient is 2. And this one here, well, we don't see a, a number written out front, but we have to assume that it's 1. I recommend not writing that 1 in there. I just do that for the point of illustrating. There is a 1 there, even though it's not written. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at some terms, and we're going to determine what are their uh, numerical coefficients. So what is the coefficient of each of these terms? Well, if we look at the first term, the number I see is a 3. So I know that its coefficient, or its number, is 3. Here I just see the r. What do I have to assume? I have to assume I have at least one of these r's to have any r's at all. So I assume that its numerical coefficient is 1. If we look at the next term, well, there's a couple of variables here. But it's the number I'm concerned with. So its number is 6. That is its coefficient. So we have the coefficients of 3, 1, and 6. Those are our coefficients. All right, we're going to move to the next board here. And we're going to define a few more terms. The first term we're going to define is a polynomial. A polynomial is the sum or difference of terms that contain variables. Uh, <clears throat> we have some specific names for the type of polynomials that we encounter. If there is just a single term which has a numerical coefficient, that's what our k stands for here, and a variable, this is called a monomial. Mono meaning one, or one and nomial number. So we're saying there's only one number here, and it's this value here. A single term is called a monomial. What if we have two terms where this is a coefficient and a variable, and this is a number? We have two terms. By indicates 2. We have two numbers, binomial. If we have three terms that are separated by sums or differences, we can see, hey, this one's raised to a power, which makes it different than this. They're the same variable, but we're doing different mathematical operations to it. We see three terms. We have a trinomial. Um, <clears throat> if we have more than three terms, we generalize it and just call it a general polynomial. So if it has more than three terms, we call it a polynomial. Let's look at some examples of monomials, binomials, trinomials. And we'll write an example for a polynomial. For the first one here, our monomial, one example is 4 times x. And we can see how this uh, models that. We have a numerical coefficient. And hopefully, we identify that as 4. And we have a variable x. Here, we have 3x squared. Well, our variable is x, and it's being squared raised to the second power. And its coefficient is 3. But there is just one term here, so it's a monomial. And here, we have 16xyz squared. Even though it has more than one variable, it's a single product making it a single term. It's all multiplication. 16 times x times y times z times itself, z squared, right? That's one term, a monomial. Here, we have our binomials, which is two terms separated by addition or subtraction. We say, OK, we have 
this term here, which is 4x, and we have this term here, which is a constant, 3. Uh, this one here, we have 5y squared minus x. So we have two terms. That's a binomial. Here we have x plus y. We have two variables. This is a binomial because this term is different than this term. They're separated by addition or subtraction. Finally, a trinomial, three different terms. They may have the same variable. They may have different variables. But what we're looking at to identify is how many terms do we have. We have one, two, three terms, making it a trinomial. 5x squared plus 2x plus 7, separated by addition or subtraction. Three terms, trinomial. Here we have x squared plus 3y minus 4z, again, another trinomial. So let's look at an example of a polynomial. Maybe uh, we have something 4x uh, plus 3y minus 7z, uh, let's see, plus 5. We could continue on. This is a polynomial. We don't have a general term for more than 3, so we just call it a polynomial. They're actually all defined as polynomials. But for these specific three, we have specific names. A single term monomial, two terms binomial, three terms trinomial, and a polynomial is what we generally use for more than three. And we can see 4 is our numerical coefficient, 3 is our numerical coefficient, 7 is a numerical coefficient, and so is 5. So we can see that we can identify that using what we had talked about, defining coefficients. Uh, stay tuned for part two, where we talk about the degrees of polynomials. Thank you for watching.